Hey guys, I'm Arden Kaywin, and today I'm coming to you with two singing hacks that are gonna help you change your thinking around your breath support by changing the words that you're using to talk to yourself about certain things. When we switch up the words, we switch up the understanding, and we're much more able to embody what we want because words matter. And the words that you use to talk to yourself around your technique have a way of informing what you're doing subconsciously that really has a huge effect on what your body does when you actually go into breathing for singing. So hack number one. Stop saying take a breath. Instead, Tell yourself to let your breath come in. So I hate the phrase, take a breath. It implies a doing, a violence, a grabbing, a taking. And when we take, we're trying so hard to grab and help that air come into the body. And in doing so though, we don't actually get more air. We actually get less air. What we get more of is tension right here. Because when I take the breath, I'm using all these muscles to help my body grab air that the body doesn't actually need help in taking. There's a thing in physics called Boyle's Law and it works for us when we sing and when we breathe and it has to do with the amount of volume and pressure of air inside and outside the lungs. And there's also the law of equilibrium in physics. Both of these work to our favor when we are breathing for singing so that you don't actually have to help your body pull air into your lungs. All you have to do is release and make room for the air and the air will come in you will get more air this way with less tension because when your body's trying to help by pulling air in, all these muscles get involved and they actually contract around your trachea, making it smaller so you actually get less air than you were hoping to help yourself get in the first place. So pay attention to telling yourself, let the breath come in rather than take the breath. And I promise you, you will get more air and feel less tension going into the next phrase. Hack number two, flex into your lower support rather than contract. The word flex has a very different connotation than the word contract. I want you to think flex into your support in the lower abs and back because that connotes an engagement of enlarging, an engagement of increasing, rather than contract, which tends to connote a shortening or a pulling in. And we don't want to shorten and we don't want to pull in because what happens is then we pull in with these muscles and it causes the diaphragm to rise up, which causes you to push too much air out too soon. You're out of breath before you're at the end of the phrase and it's a much airy sound and it's a lot of tension up here to mitigate that. Rather, thinking flex the muscles of the lower support, you're engaging them in a capacity that is expansive to go out and down into that support and that keeps your diaphragm in a low position moving slowly so that you're not pushing too much air out too soon and the sound remains very resonant without a lot of extra air. So change the words you're using to talk to yourself around support. Tell yourself to flex into the muscles of support. Tell yourself to let the breath come in. And in doing so, you're going to change how your body responds and it will respond more in line with an efficient use of breath support and breath energy to carry you through the end of the phrase without extra tension, without getting out of breath, and with a much more resonant, less airy sound. There's a lot more wisdom where this came from, so if you dug this, head on over to my blog where you'll find a lot of other articles and posts on how to maximize the potential of your voice, how to sing without tension, and feel that freedom of when you're really hooked into your most efficient singing, how beautiful your voice can actually be. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates to become a member of my virtual voice studio. You'll get instant access to a powerful video training called Be a More Consistent Singer, and you'll get first dibs on singing workshops and masterclasses, as well as access to studio member-only tips, tools, and insights I don't share anywhere else. And if you found this video helpful, please pass it on to other singers you know. Don't keep all this good information to yourself and be a selfish, stingy singer. 
Be a compassionate member of this community rather than a competitive one. Allow this community to be a rising tide that lifts all boats. The better singer you become, the better the world is for it because your voice is a unique gift that the world is just waiting to receive. Help someone else find that too. I'll see you next time.